This video will cover the topic, finding a difference quotient for a rational function. Let's look at an example problem. Find the difference quotient for the function below. Our first step is to solve for f of x plus h. The problem gives us f of x, but how do we solve for f of x plus h? That's a great question. We look at the function f of x, and everywhere there is an x in the function, we replace it with x plus h. This results in f of x plus h equals x plus h divided by x plus h minus 2. We can substitute f of x plus h and f of x into the difference quotient, and this results in the following expression. We need to simplify the numerator, but we cannot do this unless the fractions have common denominators. How do we do this? We need to multiply both fractions in the numerator by the least common denominator. With this type of problem, the only way to find the least common denominator is by multiplying both denominators together. So the least common denominator is x plus h minus 2 times x minus 2, and we need to multiply both the numerator and denominator of the whole fraction by this least common denominator. Doing this results in the following expression. Next, before we distribute the numerator, we can simplify by canceling like terms. Once we have canceled like terms, we can use the FOIL method in the numerator to multiply each term together. Now we can simplify the numerator by combining like terms. We have an x squared minus an x squared, so these terms cancel. We also have an x times h minus an x times h, so these terms cancel as well. Finally, there's a negative 2x plus a 2x, so these terms cancel, and we are left with negative 2h in our numerator. Can we cancel out an h from both the numerator and denominator? Yes, we can. Good observation. We cancel the h, and our final answer is negative 2 over x plus h minus 2 times x minus 2. Okay, I think I get it, but let me summarize just to make sure. To find the difference quotient, we first solve for f of x plus h and substitute that and f of x into the expression. Next, we find the least common denominator and simplify the numerator as much as possible by using the FOIL method and combining like terms. Finally, we cancel any terms that we can from the numerator and denominator to simplify our answer as much as possible. You got it!